What up my people, it's your boy Mr. Licks and we're back again for another vibration For another vibration, for another vibrations here on Mr. Licks vlogs As you can see, uh, the the plants or the trees are starting to flower Well, they're flowering already And you know that spring is definitely here I wonder, I wonder if Dominica has spring Because if spring involving the rebirth of things um, Does that mean that we had spring? <laughs> yes, look more flowering plants right there Anyways guys, I got some terrible news um, coming to me this morning. So this morning there was a plane crash at the Melville Hall Airport, aka Douglas Charles Airport. I normally say Melville Hall just for just in case the younger folks growing up would be like, oh Douglas Charles. And when you say Melville Hall, they're like, what? What? No. Melville Hall, aka Douglas Charles. It was an accident. A plane actually crashed. And this is a picture of it. As you can see, the plane is clearly on the ground. And I definitely got some videos of that vibration. So check it out, guys. Check it out. Yeah, yeah that's why you're there. So long. Hey. Hey. what you saw there guys it's pretty much just um persons running out actually that plane is sky high and that plane actually came all the way from santo domingo yes that's where it came from and um the persons on the plane were haitians there were a lot of haitians on the plane and something went wrong with the landing gear but i found stuff rather interesting when it comes down to to to, to rescuing marigot does not have a hospital at all the health clinic is closed down Marigot, a real hospital has been closed down for the past five years the, they have been saying they're gonna build it they build it build it build it election time coming i'm sure it's gonna build hopefully or they might just push it on for next election but apart from that guys let us look at the real nitty-gritty of things if the situation by the way everybody's okay thank god for that but if the real nitty-gritty of something really happened drastically and persons had to be rushed to the hospital they would not be able to go Marigot because Marigot Airport closed and um, Marigot Hospital is closed down the healthcare just closed down as well for mold infections and all this kind of thing there so you understand what I'm saying guys so really and truly if something had to happen and persons were in critical conditions and had to be rushed to the hospital they would then have to take a, a whole hour drive down to Rosu for them to get well because Rosal hospitals have not up to par either. <laughs> but the best hospital that they would end up going would be to the Rosal Hospital. And you saw the nurse and you saw the nurses had a, a whole hoopla protest about conditions of that hospital and whatnot. But the point of the matter is there is no Marigot hospital for quick access to just have a fighting chance now of survival. And that is the importance of what I'm talking about. It took this situation for persons to really realize what is really going on. You know, the hospitals are not there. If something really bad, thank God nothing bad happened. But if something really drastic had to happen, what, what would be the excuse? We didn't know. So we have to know um, 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 for us to prepare. Or should we prepare first just in case something has to happen? We might end up losing everybody. But thank God everything is okay. Everybody's okay. Um, persons coming all the way from Santo Domingo on Sky High. I've never seen that plane before, but of course, that's a plane bringing Haitians. Somebody asked, um, What is the reasoning behind all these Haitians coming into Dominica? The plane was just filled with Haitians coming to Dominica. And like I said before, I don't have any issues with Haitians coming to Dominica, 
but it's just that they're coming in in so much droves and occupying a lot of the the, the, the housings and, and stuff that they are what what is what is really the plan here um picard of course we know is haitian central uh, definitely haitian city but anyways the haitians at least bringing in some some income to the people out there so i guess that's a good thing another thing i must make mention of guys is that of the fire trucks to tell you the honest truth if there is a fire guys if there's a real fire and that fire is as a cause of fuel because the planes have a lot of fuel if you put water in that it's gonna create much more fire you know so i don't really know what they were doing when they were trying to use water maybe they were trying to cool down the plane or something but if there was a real fire in there guys water with petrol or fuel or jet plane and um jet plane fuel and these things would not go hand in hand if there's a fire you need to use the other thing i think the foam thing you have to use to cool that down but the persons were using water so i think that's a bit of an issue right there if there was a fire that could be a lot of trouble right there you know a lot of trouble when it comes on to these things for those of you who don't know you either use the foam um thing i forget its name it's not water that you use or you use sand to out the fire you don't use water the water will create more more thing you will give the fire more energy to <laughs> Come on guys, we should know better than that. Eh? At least, at least that we should know better. Um, so that's just the two things that I noticed in this whole incident. Um, but on the good news notice guys, Dominicans were having fun the other day um, doing the river rafting stuff. And uh, I did a vlog on that already, but there's a new one um, that came out and folks were just having too much fun um there's another youtuber i will link her link in the description below so you guys can check out that whole vibrations um so hey big up to all the youtubers in dominica man big up to y'all so guys i will def definitely check it out in the description below for you to see more of that vibrations but it was it was looking like a lot of fun uh, a lot of vibes one of the things that we can do here in dominica in terms of the tourism aspect is definitely utilizing what we have rivers we have rivers you can definitely utilize that we have mountains we have seas you know blah 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 we have all them things there and i i'm just happy to see that you know even the locals are enjoying it but a little bit more than the locals i think more of the tourists should come guys there's a bee right there I'm trying to I'm trying to ruin my vibe if you, see, you sting me my guy you're getting one shape eating springtime so bees coming out now that's a good thing i guess more honey for the world more honey all i heard honey is getting scarce but like i said guys i'm quite happy to see the vibrations that took place in the river rafting i would like to see more of that um this is pretty much the first one i know of that took place this year and we are like in april so what the hell is that for me boy last 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 year last year right uh same thing I tell you, 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 I tell And um, yeah, a lot of fun is taking place in Dominica, incidences take place, but at the same time you still have to be real and be positive about the whole vibrations. And of course, those who are doing their dirty ways, stop their dirty ways. I didn't like what the fire the firemen were doing with that water stuff. I don't think that was that was very wise. But hey, what do I know? I miss the licks. I know a little thing here and there, but <laughs> I hope they knew what they were doing. Anyways, guys, boy, Mr. Licks on a Mr. Licks vlogs. Remember, guys, be real. Tell all the dirty rock people them stop their dirty, nasty, stinking, dirty ways, man. <laughs> By the way, I also want to big up my boy Steadman, man, out in North Carolina, bro. I, I, I just want to tell you that, you know, we are here with you. Our prayers go out to you as well, bro. And, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to hit you up, but you, you know the situation already. Um, I am. Um, 
man, it's just rather interesting. Steadman is one of the Mr. Lick's family, man. And every time I'm here, you always come through. If you're watching this vlog, bro, I'm here, bro. I am definitely here. And I just want to tell you that the prayers, all the prayers, man, speedy recovery, bro. All the best to you. Anyways, guys, be real. Be positive.